On the morning of March 12, 2024, a concerning incident unfolded at a service department in Bale Steer, Singapore, leaving residents and authorities on high alert. Reports indicate that a portable power bank ignited, sparking a fire within a bedroom located on the 26th floor of the building. The Singapore Civil Defense Force, SCDF, swiftly responded to the emergency, with alerts sounding around 5.30 a.m. Approximately 100 residents were forced to evacuate the premises as a precautionary measure. The smoke permeated through the corridors, prompting guests like Mr. Shue, a tourist, to report a strong odor even on the eighth floor where he was staying. Witnesses described scenes of urgency as dozens gathered downstairs awaiting further instructions. Thankfully, the SCDF firefighters swiftly tackled the blaze, utilizing a hose reel to extinguish the flames. Paramedics from the SCDF were also on site, assessing individuals for smoke inhalation. While one person was evaluated, they declined further medical assistance and transport to the hospital. In the aftermath of the incident, Cedadine's bail steer, the serviced residence where the fire occurred, issued a statement to address the situation. They confirmed that the fire originated from a guest's faulty mobile power bank and assured that all necessary steps were taken to ensure the safety of their occupants. Thankfully, no injuries were reported, and operations at the property resumed with minimal disruption. However, investigations into the root cause of the fire are still ongoing. Authorities are working diligently to determine the exact circumstances that led to the ignition of the power bank. Meanwhile, Cedadine's bail steer has pledged full cooperation with the authorities to aid in their investigations and to conduct thorough inspections to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. This incident serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of fire safety measures, especially in densely populated areas like service departments. It underscores the critical role of prompt response and evacuation procedures in ensuring the well-being of residents during emergencies. As the investigation progresses, it's imperative for all stakeholders to remain vigilant and proactive in preventing similar incidents from happening again. What are your thoughts on this incident? Do you believe enough is being done to ensure fire safety in residential buildings? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more updates on important news events like this one.